What's up, real world? Twisted luck. Hope everybody's good. Thanks for being here. I appreciate all of you. Um, super appreciate everybody. Like we talked about, we passed 10K, so that's awesome. That's amazing to be able to just get real information to that many people. So something, there's obviously this magnetic dust took a front seat, um, but you know there's still lots of other things going on. There's lots of weird things. But something else I've been noticing in this time too that a lot of other people have also because I see videos and I see thing, people posting it all over the place and anytime I post it on Twitter, everybody is like, me too. Not hashtag me too, just regular me too. Um, these lights in the sky, right? These two lights in the sky that have been stacked on top of each other that are allegedly, what, Jupiter and, I don't know, some other planet, right? That's what they're said to be. Whether, I'm not making any claims, whether those are actually planets, whether those lights in the sky and there's a stage set up there, whatever, just for reference, that's what they're said to be. I don't remember which two, but, you know, which two. So, we started noticing these weeks ago when the moon flipped, right? The moon was a upside down smiley face, no, no, the moon was a regular smiley face, and then a couple hours later, it was an upside down smiley face. I thought I was tripping and remembered it wrong or something until later, and I saw everybody else posted videos too, like, what the hell was that? What happened? And then the moon just seems to have a mind of its own. It has for a while, but since then, it's just kind of doing what it wants to do. It went rogue. It's just like, I'm moving along. I'm doing what I want. I do what I want. But these two lights in the sky, right? They were lined up with the moon. It was moon dot dot, right? And I was watching them and the moon eventually went off and did its own thing. And these two dots in the sky uh, just stayed in the same position, you know, one here, one here, for a long time, weeks, just stayed there, the same spot in the sky that, well, other things were like over here, over there. These things just stayed right there. And I thought that was kind of weird, right? But I don't know. I'm no expert. And I don't know if I could really be an expert anyway, because I could only be an expert on what they tell us that is. So nobody can be an independent expert unless they're, you know, unless they know. Unless they know. That's what it is. Unless they know. So, you know, everybody's information everybody's fact is just based on what they're told so we, you know we really don't know but anyway but so it seemed weird to me and then i see that other people lots of other people are also like wtf is going on so then suddenly after these things being stacked on top of each other suddenly they're side by side right they they're next to each other now and i you know, I noticed that too. I'm like, well, why, why were they on top of each other one night? Now the next night, they're right next to each other again. And now they've gone back to stacked on top of each other again. So I don't understand what the hell that is. I don't know, you know, and, and there's people that are like, this is this planet, this not planet. And you know, that's all good. And you know, anybody with anybody's opinion might be right. You know, the bottom line is none of us know for sure. But, and it seems that a lot of people agree that this is really weird. But I, even by explanations, right? By, well, this is this planet and that's that planet and this happens and that planet, that happens. It doesn't explain the whole thing to me. And I don't think I'm alone. I think a lot of people are like, what? It doesn't make sense. It just doesn't. To me, it doesn't explain how they, like I said, they could be stacked, then next to each other, now stacked again. And now it's several weeks, right? Why have they, you know, you would think if everything, you know, if everything is round and orbiting and all of that, that things would be in different places all the time because everything's moving, right? So why would that be the case for some things, but these other things just keep staying right here just hanging out, but they're kind of doing their own thing, moving different positions from night to night, while the moon is off partying with God knows who, doing what it wants. It's all, oh, you grown now? You grown now, moon? You do what you want? Fine, right, start paying the bills then, moon. Pay the rent, moon. Um, but it, and I know I'm not alone, and, you know, there's, 
logical explanations for the official de you know definitions and the official the official explanations but they don't make sense right they seem like it's wizardry and when you start paying attention that's what you're going to notice when people i've been paying attention to the sky for a long time maybe closer in the past year or so than i had before but when you start paying attention to the sky like everybody should right you see some weird shit. that's for sure you see some some weird stuff up there and i just haven't been able to make sense of how exactly that's supposed to work if it is as it is said to be it just doesn't make sense the whole thing together combined with everything up there just makes no damn sense right and the you know the sun as we see the sun at least our local sun here we can't see it setting every day because every day and i've filmed this so many times it's intentionally blocked from view over and over and over every single day right it can be a clear blue sky but then mid-afternoon it'll start and here come the lines here come the lines and you just can't see it you can't see it yet you know some people are like that's crazy those are puffy white clouds nonsense nonsense now you know obviously the the dust is a big deal still and uh we're still obviously it's a process you know the people are like hurry up and test it hurry up and test it well hey i'm doing this for free by the way right i'm doing it for everybody but you know just to you know i know this is not most people but um i can't just run down to a lab and be like i you know i'll give you a blank check charge me anything whatever it might cost no i have to find people that can do it that want to volunteer their time for this right either that or we have to take a fund to pay you know some uh, reliable source to do it pay their crazy fees to do it or whatever but yeah obviously it's a huge deal to me and it's very very important to me because i want to know what is up there the skies have been still hazy again and i i told you about that dusty feel and everything like that um there are now some wildfires in florida um but we're not being affected in this area wind is not moving our direction things like that so what we've been seeing is not smoke in the sky it's not you know it's just nothing it's just regular sky but i, I did get a, a couple of little clips of sky yesterday um it's hard to get it to show up on video but around sunset that type of time when the sky changes a little bit you can see it a little bit better i honestly haven't even looked at the video at the time of making this video to see if it came out better hopefully it did but these are the type of skies we're seeing and people all over the place are saying they're seeing it too you know so seeing stuff like that and then scraping up off surfaces a dust that is magnetic is super super disturbing to me and this is new i, I think we're going to start seeing this all over the place now we're going to start seeing people you know posting the same thing saying the same thing and that's good because people need to be aware but still some people are just gonna be like eh, whatever whatever i don't know what it is just blow it off it's pollen like you know some people have it's pollen it's just that black magnetic pollen you've always heard about right yellow maybe that's a mandela effect it's probably a mandela effect right pollen's not yellow stupid it's always been black and magnetic huh. where are you from wouldn't that be crazy and i've been more busy just been more busy with everything and if you paid any attention for it not everybody cares but for anybody that has followed my um my vehicle dealership and warranty and extended warranty fiasco it only got more frustrating and more annoying and probably more no definitely more complicated not probably definitely more complicated more stuff i have to deal with uh to make it diff more difficult it's just a huge 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 pain in the butt took the vehicle to the dealership the other day and um after making i have to arrange i have to myself align all the stars and the planets just right for it to work and i did and i did that and i you know in cooperation with the dealership and understanding the planning and then uh after after initiating my plan and bringing it there 
and it's there for a day they call me like oh yeah we got to change that plan and uh i was very very not happy very not happy and um so but we'll see so that's still going to continue uh we may end up getting an entire new motor uh it turns out which would be a pain in the butt but you know as long as everything's covered and it's all good and that works you know we'll start again at zero miles perfect um but yeah i i've never really had to deal with that before i've always done my own work um i definitely prefer older vehicles because they just don't have the issues that new things do and there's so many damn things to go wrong so many things to break and then when they do go wrong and break it's way more complicated and usually more expensive to do something about and a lot of the things aren't just things i can just grab my tools and do right but when it's got a warranty i'm not gonna bother with it anyway just let them do it but yeah they sure don't make things like they did they make everything these days is built to be replaced where things used to be built to last right on an older vehicle if something goes wrong you, you have an idea with whatever it is you, you have a pretty good idea what it's probably going to be you narrow it down right away to just a few things you can check them out fairly easily i mean once in a while there's a big thing that is not super simple but for the most part you know what i mean but these newer cars terrible and in this experience we've had this vehicle to the dealership back and forth for two years now with the exact same issue that they keep claiming to fix they say oh it's that and we fixed it no that didn't fix it oh it was this and we fixed it or bring it in and be like, no, it was fine. It didn't do anything. Then we get it back and it still doesn't. So um, it's, ter it's a temperature issue is what it is. And um, I eventually ran my own combustion chamber, my combustion leak test, and it failed the test. So I pushed, they weren't going to do the test. I pushed them. They finally did do the test. So they confirmed that. Now they have to completely tear it down. And um, the only problem is, the only problem is uh, it will be good unless whatever it is is not covered by the warranty then that would be an issue because then i am to eat all of the teardown cost and all of that so that sucks so short story long i prefer older vehicles but not all of you care about that part just the other stuff which we will be following and we had a family day which is important so i took a day off of uh the world's nonsense and reading it and research researching it and talking about it and making videos about it and editing and all that it's it's not i juggle a lot of things and my time is like me i have very little time for anything so we do what we can do as we can do it but i appreciate all of you thanks for being here uh stay tuned we definitely got more more to come um we've got more more testing to do still i was in the middle of i was planning on doing more egg testing when the dust appeared so I've got more egg testing to do and different types of things. We still got to test the dust and uh, who knows what's going to pop up between now and then. But as time has been going in recent time, more is going to pop up. So buckle up and stay tuned. We'll see what we see. Thanks for being here. I appreciate you. Twisted luck truth. I'll see you soon.